This is Two Shy Guys a Mile High, and we're going to run it like this. Certified on the track. Ah, uh, you gotta hit the other boy the arm that one. Yeah, can they do it? Any... T- Alright, yeah. it seemed like that's it, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for me, it's WB, WB with the professor. That's a prime example of what happens when you stay in your lane, you know what I'm saying? Because the professor, he could have been salty. He could have been mad he ain't make it to the league or but he didn't get the D1 scholarship in the show. But you know what? He's like, I'm cool. He still ended up going him, bop, bop, bop. on there. He on the ESPN show. He win. He with N one. He's still out there making videos. You know what I'm saying? And making ma- probably way more money now. I get to travel with the yeah, YouTube boy. I mean, he he good. So. I ain't gonna downplay his game. He good, but we know he wouldn't have made it in the league. He's just too little. Yeah, too I'm small. sorry, too small. It's that grown up strength. Yeah, but but he you, made he, he made his own lane though. There. Yeah, he made he his, made own, his own lane though. Because now he can hoop on his terms. He can hoop on his terms now. He travel and they pay him. To, to hoop, he, so he like an NBA star. I mean, he just don't have to do the NBA schedule. He like, I want to hoop. I think the last one I saw, he was in a, in a prison, actually. So I was like, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that was cool, too. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't get nobody, you know, coming in there. And I remember him from the man one mixtapes, man. You know, you bought some M1 product, they gave you them free tape. <laughs> at Champs or something. I forgot what store it was, but, man, that dude came. Hey, did he his thing, man. Chopping. Shoot, I wish I could play hoop and get and that be my, my gig. For real, but maybe it's not. It's, it wasn't in the DNA. Ain't you know sure. what I'm saying? Some people got that natural gifts, bro, and that could just be. That's what it was, and he. And I got hoop dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're not deferred. So Ain't that's all. <laughs> no, man, but but that's a that's a good segue though into the into what we talking about. Just how to just just D, your DNA, your your natural your natural gifts. What you what you about? And so like, I never. I don't even know how we got on Professor, but. Like, that dude was, I mean, he just seemed like he was really good at what he was doing. It seemed like he was just walking and just had the ball in his hand and he could pass it, he could dunk it. And I mean, I, excuse me, I don't know if he dunked. I don't think he dunked, but. Um, I don't know, he might have got a He may, I ain't going to take, I, I ain't, I ain't going to take that way. He may, True. I haven't seen it. But I mean, he had a Maybe natural had flow to himself. You know what I'm saying? He's still yeah. doing it. I think he, I think he like literally 34 and up and yeah, above. You know what so. I'm saying? I be seeing him, good God fearing brother look like from the outside. You know, <laughs> he, be, he be giving praises, but uh, I got yeah. loyalty. I got royalty inside my DNA. You know I got, what I'm saying? I got, I got loyalty. Got royalty inside my DNA. All do is a black man first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Because we cut from good genes. However, the way that our DNA is depicted through history and through other um, representations doesn't depict it in the same light, but I think that this show we will be talking about DNA, like you said, and it's just about knowing where you come from, basically yes, your sir. roots, and yes, just sir. knowing that if you got that inside of you, you can still pull it out. Yeah. Uh, if you know you got inside of you the DNA that was able to produce Black Wall Street over a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. We got that Tulsa. same DNA right now. Yeah. It's hundred years, been a hundred years, years since it happened. Right. Yeah. And think about that too. I mean, I, I always I think we talk about that. That's not that long either, for real, for real. That ain't, bro. And, and My grandma ninety, so right. it was ten years before, but that ain't yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like my it's... great aunt once she just hit hundred and four, so shout oh, out. Yeah, shout, shout out. out. So she was, she was, you know, what I'm saying around when around that was happening. Endured, you know, it's from Louisville, so it ain't that oh, far yeah. away. Oh yeah. So uh, man, it's just crazy down in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, open up the Black Wall Street, <laughs> and then basically, that's where all the black banks, black. It was a community. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, you know, to show commemoration, they got the what Greenwood mm-hmm. Rising. Uh, district that they're building out there, basically I mean, a uh, museum to uh, commemorate, you know, what happened and shed light on it. So, you know, it'd be interesting. So, if you ever around Tulsa, Oklahoma, make sure you go out there to the Greenwood Rising nice. Project. So, a district uh, displays, um, I guess, the Greenwood District out uh-huh. there in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. 
where it was at, where everything occurred, and then it you know gives you the whole background of everything that happened. And so make sure you check that out if you ever in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's and that's what it's about, man. Res- respect to the the people that came before you. For real, you know, because before all this Corona and stuff, we um, folks went through bubonic plague. You know what I'm saying? All this other stuff, Spanish whatever. Spanish flu, Spanish flu, and so if we here. Like literally, that had our our DNA, our 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 lineage, our bloodline has has come to this 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 point. So I mean, literally, like we we have all the 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 immunities of that in our in our blood, like from passed down from our family because they went through it and mm-hmm. survived it. You know, thank you Jesus, right? Because mm-hmm. yo, we coming out of this this Rona. You know what I'm saying? So people's DNA is a change forever now. So, Dang, that's you know a, that's a good point. But you know what I'm saying? We, before we were talking about the professor, you're talking about alley oops because mm. we, through our process improvement activities, yes, we've sir. been able to cut down on some of our setup time. So shout out to Phil. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Lean. Um, Lean. But have y'all been interested in them DNA tests? Man, it's funny that you say that because it's your boy P. Will, Drip Chronicles. Uh, was been looking into ancestry for a while. I know we, you know, had a conversations about it before, prior, uh, between ourselves, and you know, I was wasn't really too with uh, trying to get it out. I ain't want my DNA to be out there in the system in the matrix. Right, right. Out there. I feel. I've seen They trying to build, trying to build <laughs> them drip clones, man. I don't need right. no iRobot drip clone. That kind of got my, uh, my, my, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the drip clone to oh, come out there and just be, you know, right up. And I'm Gemini right. man out here. You know, they got me right. living a double life. So, so I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, I was never Gemini. trying to look into it uh, realistically just because of that reason. Then I was like, you know, Tasha ended up bringing one home one day and I'm like oh okay so you gonna do it huh you gonna mm. put your DNA out there <laughs> then she was like yeah I got two of them I'm like oh hold up now so I mean <laughs> we doing it then that's what that means. Like, yeah exactly so <laughs> we gonna know so, who the genetically engineered and modified Drip Chronicles there can only hey, be one real. original it's only one original oh my goodness bro that's that's funny that you say that cause I was in a similar situation uh, shout out to wifey I mean she was like hey I wanna understand you know what's going on i want to understand my roots i want to understand my history not only for us you know but to teach our children and and it's something that we can you know we can build on and understand often so. imitate and never duplicate it <laughs> <laughs> well we ain't worried about no clones per se but I, I was i was a little skeptical too bro i was like man, i don't know clones, man. i worry about them clones. i mean if if listen hair follicles are in the air i mean drones are flying around listen there's a lot of technology out here right now. Nah, for real, they you probably they got your face ID, got your, they got your thumb, right. they got everything, got your fingerprints, your eyes, your retina, and at the end of the day too, um, if they really want to get into it, they can identify you by your walking patterns anyway. Walk it like I talk it. Yeah. Like everybody has a specific walking pattern, so <laughs> that can be found out as well too. I'm gonna say shout out to my mama, Jaime Bravo, because she took the DNA test. Because I don't personally feel like I want to take it. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. Um, just like that vaccine, as more people take it, I get more confident in it. But I'm with you, man. I just don't trust. It's not. I just don't trust the motives behind it for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like they're taking our. I, I need to read the fine print, see what they're doing, see whatever it is. But I've been getting bled. To, for many years having different tests ran so that's i'm pretty fair. sure it, they might have it already you know what i'm saying and that's what's kind of leaning me towards it is like yo they really wanted to they could have been done this right, right? right, right. they don't like the, all the embryos that they like they you have to request when you have a kid i heard you have to request to get the like the mbi like the set what do you have to um do? probably the um the placenta, the placenta right yep. so you have to request and file some paperwork to get your own placenta so yeah, i'm pretty yeah. sure they could have got it from the jump if they really wanted right, to right 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 and that's and that's real talk man i mean <laughs> going through that you know pregnancies right with my wife and stuff so that's they you have it's like do you want to keep this do you want us to keep that and it's like well you know it, just, it, it brought up a lot of questions. I mean, of, of just longevity, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody's not going to be able to live to 102. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Know. Shout out. What I'm saying? But but at the same time, I mean... We just got an example, 104. No, that's what, that's, that's what I'm saying. Shout out. And it's like... But Shout out to Big Mama. Mm. But, but we don't we and don't I, know what the what the new what, what's going to happen next, right? So at this point, to go back to what you were saying, Dub, they have a clause in there. They're like, do you want it to be destroyed afterwards? I mean, like you said, still... I'm a skeptic, you know what I'm saying? I get it in certain cases. I'm like, okay, I checked the box. Yes, please. 
Mm-hmm. Make sure it, erase it from the database, but you know, at the same time, what <laughs> integrity, right? If they have integrity, like they say, then I'm I feel good. Yeah, I know and, a lot of my, uh, a couple of my uh, homies. Um, they family ended up uh, filling out the paperwork to to get the placenta back, and then mm-hmm. they put it into like the dehydrated, put it into pills, and ingested it themselves, just oh, so wow. they know, you know, the nourishment go back into you. It's been nourishing the baby, Fair. and they ate it as a. Uh, ingested it as a family just okay to, so that's i mean that's, that's, I think there's that's some a, other health aspects with that as well too. yeah i'm not um i'm not we, we're not doctors but <laughs> we, this is just stuff that we hear we just passing on information you know what i'm saying it's just letting um, them know it's an option yeah that's fair but i mean you, you yeah that's and it, it's just really at the end of the day i mean you what you what you feel comfortable with i mean yeah, for real. Yeah. the same thing goes with just any technology too like i are you feel, are you comfortable with the internet? Are you comfortable with the same thing? You're putting yourself out there. People can track you to IP mm-hmm. addresses, your location, cell phone, ring the ping tower, so they can find you if they wanted to. Right, right. It just depends on what type of life you're living in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I ain't out here just trying to commit the grand. You know what I'm saying? Alchemy <laughs> or nothing like that. I feel. But you. uh, you know what I'm saying? Also, you want to keep your privacy and keep you know what's to you to you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that. So. So result. speaking of which, let's let's break it down. Before, like, how was it even? Because I'm a process. I need I need to know the how process. is it? The, I need the process. Trust the process. Respect the process. So in terms yeah. of even collecting what they need to collect for the sample, how was that? Like, what you have so to you do? So you get the you get the box in from the mail or get it from wherever you okay. receive it, and then they ask you for uh, DNA so your saliva, mm-hmm. and you have to like uh, work up enough saliva into fill it into a small little vial, so it's not you know, too much, but, you know, the process of doing it or whatever, that's right. what you have to do. And so if you, your mouth dry, get that water, cool. For, uh, get that water, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, you put it in there, and then you have to, uh, you put another capsule in it that uh, mixes it with some other mixing ingredient or agent that they have just to make sure your DNA can stay prolonged for you to send it in the mail and get mm. back to their office so that they can, you know, do run the test. Or exactly, yeah, run yeah. a test on it or whatever. So you got you send it back in through the mail to give you a box to give you the whole uh, re- receipt and shebang so you can check the progress or whatever, track it, mm-hmm. and then uh, maybe in like three or four weeks it lets you know that they received it and let you know when they started running tests on it. You can get an app and uh, run it and see like where they are, what phase they're in, and then they let you know, hey, it's done. You can come check out your results. So mm-hmm. maybe like a four or five week process was the same yeah, for you about five yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's crazy because like. <laughs> My my story completely different because we oh, yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. process. I, I literally we turned ours in. Mary and I turned ours in at the same time. Like I literally handed the two packages right to the mailbox, dude. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, so, no, actually, I took it. We took it right to the post office. Actually, so it's right in the hands. Why I got mine like two weeks after hers. I'm like, oh, yeah. how? What happened to mine? Hey, like, hey, maybe they had to run a couple extra they tests. Run, on you, maybe, man. Maybe. I don't know because I mean I'm not of this world. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they was talking they was talking about some ufos you know what i'm saying hey, so who knows hey, well, last like, year yo. two years they was trying to run over there in area 50 uh <laughs> 51 area 51 Hey, different animals, same beast. Once we get the, right, once we get the visual component, they can see your alien head in person. <laughs> Yo, well, yours actually will be turn to the blocking. side. Oh, independent day head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Will Smith no, saved no, the world. No, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right, don't be don't be having me, All Jeff right, Goldblum. Right, over here. See, I'm <laughs> done with the joke, so you gonna come back? With me. I'm sorry, <laughs> I apologize. No man, but but I I was I was for I was skeptical at first, and then I mean I'm looking at I'm like at this at the same time it's better to have some information on it because when we got ours back, like a lot of that was similar. I was like, okay, I can see. They didn't say y'all was related or nothing. No, either. no, no, get out of it. No, it was like <laughs> you know because her father's like Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? Like we found that out through his he did his DNA uh, ancestry, but boy, so he's eighty percent. We like okay, we didn't know. We get it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We the, the 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 data matches the the characteristics, right? And so now we understood. And but now it's like, you know, her mom is Mexican, you know, she's African, you know, mixed with some other things. And so I was like, that's pretty cool, you know. Now we can see and understand on a deeper level, right? right. You know, kind of that doesn't mean we're gonna go and say, oh my goodness, I need to go and track everything down. It's like, but it gives you something to to, to start with and to talk about. 
and it keeps you on that journey. I think you know yeah. when you get that information. So yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I was excited about about you know our results. So yeah, yeah. But I, I did want to like kind of know more information, and just kind of see like see what was possible mm-hmm. with doing this. So I think that's the reason why I did it, just to understand you know the background and you know taking that leap of faith and figuring out the unknown and seeing like what what was possible so it can at least spark my journey into you know me trying to find out for real and actually go you know visit these places visit where i came from visit what they say Mm -hmm. just so i can you know start unraveling my history and understanding that so yep no that's good stuff man maybe dub you Get so what you thinking, Dub? Point, I know you, know. you said you I ain't doing it. I got. I mean, right now I'm, I'm gonna end up. <laughs> oh no, you, yeah. What, what you said? I was gonna say you said your mom did it. Yeah, too. yeah. I'm looking at the results right now. Oh my bad. Because no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just trying to see what the results is looking like. So, um, Mama, I love you, um, <laughs> but your information is going to see where you from, but it's already on the internet. So, um, I just give you the disclaimer. So, yeah, did you do twenty? Did she do twenty three and me? Was she did the twenty three and me test. Okay. And after the blood test or saliva test and this um after saliva test the ancestry detector determined that she is 67.2 percent west african 35.6 nigerian 17.1 percent ghanian liberian and sierra leone and then we got um some other lower ones like broadly west african 8.5 percent but it's going to be curious to see how i I need to pay attention to see how it changes over time because it does and then um 13.2 percent congolese and southern southern east africa Hmm. and then there's of course you know what i'm saying we already know what it is we came over here as slaves so there's some grimy stuff that goes on in life um somehow we got 18.3 percent northwest european so 17.7 percent British and Irish, not surprising because I do like Irish whiskey and I do watch a lot of football. You know what I'm saying? Manchester uh, United football. But yeah, Manchester United. We definitely lost in the Cup Finals, the European Cup Finals. They they lost, man. Uh, man, they, that well, that brought story. It happens, but, but look, they were they came back. They tied the game, oh, and then it went to penalties. Oh, they left and on, they on, go on penalties back and forth. It went to eleven penalty kicks. Wow! Our goalkeeper didn't save. Not Nam penalty. Their goalkeeper was the last person and scored on him. Oh. Our goalkeeper goes and misses it. Man. So you ain't mean to tell me you ain't blocked like not Nam shot and you missed it to lose the cup. But there were some other times before you can't really blame it on him, I guess. But I'm like, dog. How do you not block none, let the goalie score on you, and you can't even score? But I digress. So, um, 18.3% Northwest European. And that's the story of my mama. Um, I'm going to have to pray and see if I want to give up my DNA for this to see how it differs. Um, My dad, he's probably not going to run this test. I don't know. How, shout out to my sister. She was able to get my mama to do it. I don't know how she did it. But we got some data on our family. Hey, She's right. the family historian, low key. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody, yeah. Everybody, so everybody shout out to them. Like, shout out. Because everybody needs a historian, man, to keep. Because you don't know what's going down. Like, your history is really your history, kind of low key. So you got to know where you come from. And then there's so. like real trace stuff, like 0.2% Chinese dye, 0.4% indigenous American, 0.3%. Two Indonesian Thai, oh, Khmer, and Myanmar, wow. and they broadly went. Chinese and South Asian, 0.1%. Wow, they went deep, deep. They went deep. And then there's probably some stuff that's unassigned, which, you know, <laughs> as more people <laughs> submit their DNA, it could be a different thing. But, man, it's always interesting for me just to see the breakdown. Um, maybe it does feed into the way that I operate because it's DNA. We can pass, pass that stuff down. So I'm curious to hear about y'all results now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and you work in data, so you know how the data works. Mm-hmm. So being able to understand data and see what it does and tell you the story, I need to I need to see the facts of data yeah. behind it. So yeah. Facts. No, I got you. I Big mean, I facts. Can, I can go. Uh, you want to go, Peter? Hey, I'm always ready, brother. So uh, mine said, let's see. And the lie detector test determined. <laughs> now I got uh, so 36% uh, Nigeria, uh, 19% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu people, 13% 
uh, what was it? 13% Scotland. And that probably because that's why I'll be watching that Gordon Ramsay show. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get my, trying to get my <laughs> strap on. Shut up, Gordon. Shut up, Gordon. Uh, 12% Mali. Uh, 9% Benin and Togo. 4% Ivory Coast and Ghana. 4% Senegal. 2% Spain. And then 1% England and Northwestern Europe. So... That's the breakdown for your boy P. Wildrip Chronicles. And then, you know, it, it, uh, I did the ancestry test, and it gives you, like, your early Virginia African American. So, like, where Ooh. we came uh, Ooh. from that, and it tells you the communities. And then Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and African Americans. Like, how you, it gives you, like, a map of, like, where you migrated from mm-hmm. in the United States. Mm-hmm. So, okay. just seeing that and then having my okay. uh, the aspect. So, Al, what, what's, your, what's your results talking about? They're really similar. Like, that might explain a lot of reasons why we just, we all just cool folks, man. Who um, did you do yours with? We did uh, Ancestry as well. Okay. Oh, okay for yeah, sure. so that's why I was kind of like, oh, that's, this sounds familiar. So, so we got two distributors. Two distributors so for far. We gonna, I like the way it kind of broke yours down too, WB. Mm. This has got, so 31% Nigeria, 27% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. Hmm. 10% Mali, uh, 6% Ivory Coast and, and Ghana, 5% Benny and Togo, and then it gets to interesting, 5% Wales, so Welsh, uh, 4% Senegal, 3% England and Northwestern Europe, Germanic Europe, that's 3%, Ireland, 2%, Scotland, 2%, France, 1%, and Ethiopia and Eritrea, 1%. Okay. Rest in peace, Nipsey. Hey. Double up. I said, I said, okay, I didn't know. Maybe I get along with my African brothers and sisters so well. Just, hey, For real. Did, it's in the DNA. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to draw a correlation. I'm just saying that it's really interesting to see kind of some of the results that, you know. Same, man. It's just like the linkage with Nigeria and then you know, going peoples. to uh, Northern Illinois and being like my frat bros and a lot of my LB and. It's a GM. Uh, two of my LBs from Nigeria and just maybe the reason why we click so well <laughs> and then you know people used to always like, shout out to Timmy uh, they used to always like mix me and him up together we same height same you know complexion look wow. act very similar still one of my best friends to this day so shout out to him B-Day um, Afiz Kunle you know all of, all of my brothers man so maybe the correlation yeah. was there and it just you know through going through the data figuring out the data mm-hmm. you figured uh, out that's what, a, that's what, out that's what the, the connection was yeah. man so shout out to all them Alakai Renz everybody yeah. shout out to the team um so I was curious I was trying to add up the little the, all the percentages all the percentage for the <laughs> European box I was like man that's why we need to stop with this colorism stuff it's like 18% you know what I'm saying it's like, like 18% like, yeah. my mama 18% and she darker than you so we need to stop yeah. with this colorism stuff yeah, you know what real. I'm saying which is it's interesting like you know what i'm saying i would never have thought you know Ger- germanic europe you know england and north northwestern europe i mean it's three four percent you know but i mean that's the it's still interesting you know i'm not a hundred percent african yeah. you know african-american german whatever you want to call it but i mean but then i wonder like you know how accurate are these tests mm-hmm. determining you know what i'm saying giving you that link to where, where you're from in your dna because you know, especially how we had the uh, podcast with Joe Lemmy Samadhi and then just talking about, you know, the the Western part of Africa is just where, you know, all of the uh, resources were. And then that's the easy accessible um, waterfront. Mm-hmm. And I wonder, like, how much does it tell you, like, just everyone coming from that portion to take us out of there? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Is that the reason why it's giving us back from Nigeria right on the West Coast? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, it gives you some 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 starting point of kind of literally how we right. got here you that's why i think saying? it's a starting point but i want to know the accuracy for like mm-hmm. you know how far in depth that is or are they just saying okay use west africa yeah, well, we use our engineering skills on that one because you yeah. know data all data you got to know okay what yeah i need to know, get that finite that data is, right <laughs> man <laughs> figure that out and, and kind of go this is really usable data here this is because like like i think we talked about like we don't know what's behind the scenes they take this behind the scenes and manipulate it do their thing and yeah I was gonna say how say, much manipulation is in this data we know we know how to manipulate the data to tell a story real. so what they trying to tell us a story yeah 
But I mean, hey, I, it's a good talking point. I'm, I'm like my wife and I. We're still big on that, trying to understand, like literally where we've come from. It's a journey, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And so we teaching our kids to think on the same level. You know, respect your ancestors, respect those that came before you, mm -hmm. and understand that you know what your duty is to you know to honor that and just have and have integrity and have you know some ethics and morals. And no, but it does give you that gives you that starting point to at least start your journey. Mm -hmm. So it gave me that clarity to understand, like at least. From doing the test, this is what I got. Start here. Yeah. I know on Ancestry, they got stuff where you can match with people and in different yeah. family going to start doing that. So I did I did have an opportunity. Well, I got the option to actually look at it and seeing, like, you know, what's your second cousin, third cousin, mm -hmm. and how you may be related or so. And then, you know, looking up people via Facebook, I, you know, we had mutual friends, and it was my family. And then wow. so I'm like, okay, it could be at least some truth some type of truth to yeah, it and yeah, yeah. you start doing that i think as 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 engineers you start trying to make make sure this data makes sense you know you start going to other sources and you know using okay the facebook might work if if it's real i know that's mm -hmm. a mutual friend mutual. oh okay so ancestry ain't bsing or they're pulling from the same data pool hmm. you know it's so many things i mean there's so many angles we could take on this so yeah. many good ways to unpack this but the the main thing is this is data we know about data, you know, it, it depends on the source, depending on how it's, how it's tailored, how it's made, it could be false or not. But I'm I'm going to put, you know, some 90% accuracy on this and say I, I think it's true, yeah, 90%, probably. at least. My 10% skepticism in there. So. It gives you, like, how many cross matches that you have shared between you and that person. And if you got, a, am sure, an ample amount, over 100 or 200 it may determine like your cousins or whatever that case may be or how you match them. Yeah, cause in my head, I'm trying to think about how do they put your DNA to the specific region, but it's probably just the profiles knowing that the people in this region exhibit this type of DNA. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Over that, that, that has to be some way like that, but maybe I'm just reading too deep into it. And I, I got a question for you. So as a data scientist and going to uh, school. And, oh, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boy WB got, got, got some got news. Got I'll be attending Cal Berkeley in September hey. online. I try and pursue a master's in data science. So yes, sir. I appreciate you. the you know the support y'all been giving me. I've been putting that out there, been been sloughing, but your boy <laughs> is gonna be doing that. But uh what was the question? I apologize for that. No, just uh how do you uh interpret the data from what they give us to like you being a you know, going for your data scientist and <laughs> how did how would you feel about that? I I think data science is just it's a it's a very broad topic so there's different aspects of it but in terms of the analysis piece of the data is like man for me i just try to look at the different patterns see what's out there um see where the correlation points are so that's why in my head i'm like well they must know that all right everybody has blood that's a given but people from different regions have these different type of um, features in their blood. So that's how they're like, okay, well, these people are from this place, have these features in their DNA. We can kind of like bucket them into categories. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of basically how they probably started doing it. And then as more people submit their DNA tests and results, it can refine their models that they, they probably have models that are being built on the back end of the stuff to say, okay, this is a DNA sample mm -hmm. running through the model. And then you see how strong the correlation is to that, that model to say, okay, I've got this feature. I can put it to this feature to the correlate say 90% chance or 95% chance. This is where you're from and it can attribute a value to it. But that's in my head. That's how I, I kind of perceive it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just how my brain works. I'll be <laughs> curious to see how, what more information that I learned during my studies. And then I got to think about um, in terms of my capstone project or final project, wherever it be, how, what am I going to do? Cause um, I'm already thinking in advance, but I think I want to do something to try to, figure out how to empower the black community so i don't know if it's a way that we can measure our economic prowess from uh, one time to another time um if i could point to some of the injustices that have been going on because if they're using their models to do something why i'm using my models to make a point too 
There you go. You know what I'm saying? For the benefit of our people to say, say, all right, this has been going on. This is why we are behind. This is why we are saying we be behind. And this is why we need the resources to get where we need to go. Yeah. So yeah. I think as more people can get facts and data behind things, you can start bringing out points like reparations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Cal Berkeley, you got a, you got a, you got a scholar coming, man. Yeah. You better, you better, y'all better recognize. And y'all football <laughs> team got to get together too. Shout out my boy Trey Watson. He the DB coach out there, so I know them boys. If they ain't gonna be able to play no offense, they gonna them DBs gonna be on point, okay? <laughs> so shout out to him. This is his first year out there too. Shout out. <laughs> man, but let's no, let's go back. Congratulations, man. That's a that's a. Especially during these times too, man. Like you, you've been putting in work, bro. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like everybody, just just been putting in work, man, in their own way, you know. And that's mm-hmm. the testament to the to, for those that came before us, bro. Like mm-hmm. they put in the work, so we could be here. So we got to keep putting in the work, so you know our our kids and our you know our legacy, our our folks that come after us can go and say, you yeah. know, hey, I, they they was okay, and look at what they left us here. They left us some gems. They left us something, and you know they can build on that, and then. They DNA change, you know, so they whole life DNA. Yeah, hopefully mine change. didn't. My hopefully mine didn't change after them two shots. I'm fully vaxxed. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were saying that uh, that could possibly. I don't know. I don't believe. It is what it is at this point. Yeah, too early. early. <laughs> yeah. It's early in the. Yeah, yeah, man. We ain't gonna never know. If I'm Walking Dead, WB, WB. still rock with your boy. Okay. Like, for real. All man. love, man. All love, man. <laughs> all love. But yeah, that's interesting, man. So like we. You know, maybe next time we we chat on this subject, maybe uh, and give you, you know, what I'm saying, fly with me. Wife you know. uh, buy you uh, ancestry test yeah, too, or something. Man, you get wamboozled into the uh, <laughs> to the to the art. Christmas coming up, you know. Uh, Father's Day coming up. They know what they're doing by selling up, them two you know? packs. Yeah, they sell the two yeah. packs. They ain't selling the same. Direct snipe <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> right at me and right at me and uh, the architect, man. man. Ain't nobody buying Lucy's. Right. They got the double tag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, one of the things was like after I got the information, I was thinking for a while, like, how did it make you feel? So mm. how can you? Uh, so for me, it was just like, okay, now I have the data. What am I gonna do with it? Mm-hmm. But uh, what I was able to do was just, just start start the game plan of thinking about uh, what I want to do, like traveling and my next destination that I want to go visit, and because I want to see the world. And why not start at some of these places where say that I'm from yep. and see like what what's to what's out there and like uh, understanding. So uh, I think that was for me understanding what could be what the possibility is having this blueprint having the data having this analysis and starting my journey of like figuring out like where i'm from and where i'm going in my life as well so i think that yeah. just by having the data i was able to start my story about what i want to do mm-hmm. going on the rest how did it make you feel about it when you i, got I felt it? proud man yeah. i really did I, I felt proud i felt i felt a sense of I mean, completeness is 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 a is a big word there. I think I felt really um, I felt satiated because I was I've been I've been wanting to understand where I came from, like for real, like real talk. Like, I, I see thought, pride. Like I, I see I, power. I, I, I see a bad mother that don't <laughs> take no crap over nobody. <laughs> hey, is that off of uh, Cool Runnings? Thank brother. you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, but that's but no, but I really but for real, like I because I was like, man, I want to understand that because I see my dad's side of the family, which I wasn't as close to as I was on my mom's side and you know it, they just look different like and obviously you know I'm a, a fair lighter skinned black dude so I'm thinking one thing you know and I had a chance to understand this is where I've come from you know what I'm saying and this is this is a start of okay why I you know am this way I had these features or or or, or exhibit these traits you know and so it was you know like I said I felt proud and then you know my wife did hers and I said cool we, we had something to talk about together you know what I'm saying and yeah. now you know, our kids can kind of look at this and we can see both of these together and say, you know, maybe they want to do theirs when they get a little mm-hmm. bit older and see how that compares. So now it's just a little, it's something to look at and something to, to, to have families, I think, talking about it, you know, they just thinking long term, like, okay, what is it, what would this look like in another hundred years, you know? They're going to be looking at my DNA and from 100 years from now. Like, what does that you look see like? your migration, where you started, where you're at mm-hmm. now, and then your, your progression around America for now. Yeah. Yeah, because you never know. How do years from now we on the moon somewhere or something? Who knows? I, I don't know. It's just that's a whole nother 
whole other podcast, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, man y'all got me waffling out here. Ain't, it might not even be the wife that get it. I might buy it myself. Y'all got me curious now because yeah. I'm about for real. I'm more. I'm probably gonna buy a Nigerian soccer jersey now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know I'm thirty <laughs> percent. I'm trying to look up some Joe Loft rice recipes. Oh yeah. Could, uh, actually, I need somebody real to teach me. So I I don't know. I really haven't had that much African food. I've had some of it, but you know I need to expand my palate. See what I see what my people's been eating. That's real. That's real. You gotta get that yeah. fufu. You gotta get yeah, the yeah the jollof, pounded yam, all that plantain, goat meat. Yeah. I'll try it. Well, let us know, man. We come back with it to the cast. You know, we can get the, the the trifecta. Well, if you have in the shy, man, go to Kato. That's my uh that's my line brothers. Uh, it's family restaurant on the north side of Chicago. Get you the uh, food there. I remember when uh, he was going away to Carolinas first, and then now he lives in Dallas. But when he's going away, man, his family set out a whole big barbecue for him Ooh, just to celebrate him. And then I went fire. to his wedding, man, and had me as a part of his wedding. And you was throwing money celebration, man. I had to, man. <laughs> yeah, I was, hey. go. So shout out to him, man. Same thing with Ro Timmy. Celebrated his wedding. It was just a beautiful experience, man. So just seeing that whole thing and how it enveloped and just celebrating just uh, them as a unit and one. Hey, man, I, I respect it. And I just appreciate them having me in that so I can at least, like, experience how it goes. Because so. mm-hmm. well, now you got something. Like I said, you can show them here, bro. Listen, we was, we was bros before we knew we was bros. Yeah. Swear, you know. So, yeah, man, I'm... I'm glad we talked about this, guys. I For mean, sure. And I'm going to start looking up, like, maybe they got all inclusives in Nigeria or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know what's up. Let's take a trip. Hey, let's let's take it. a trip, man. Two shot guys a mile high. We're going, in Nigeria or we're somewhere. Going. You know, we can go. For real. I, it, but. Hey, mark our words. We're going to be recording from over there very soon. Yeah, for real. Ooh. Whoever hears us, if you want to sponsor a trip for <laughs> us to record our journey to finding our peoples. After I take this DNA test, what you can pay for? <laughs> <laughs> we can highlight the experience. Yeah, we can, oh, man. man. We might just have to just do it. But, you know, sponsors are welcome. It's always welcome. <laughs> man. But as always, man, we appreciate the listeners, man. Appreciate y'all, man, for always <laughs> listening to us while we get our thoughts out here and, yeah. and hopefully help people you know if you if you're thinking about making that decision you know it's tap in let us know. About, you know let us know and if you already took the ancestry test let us know how it made you feel share if you you know feel comfortable enough share your results with us that'd be cool mm-hmm. it'd be cool maybe we share a few on the air no we just go ahead and just say we, we, we got some results and some people were you know either surprised by the results or you know yeah how, how to make you feel that'd be a good thing to talk about we get some some reactions and we can bring them here to the show man so like us you know what I'm saying like the content love the content check us out you know I ain't gonna I ain't gonna steal Mr. Mr. Drip Chronicles I'll let you do it hey, wow. hey, you know, hey. cause I mean we gotta keep the habits right too though hey you no know? feel it, man but yeah share with your family share with your people share with your friends and make sure you go out there like the content and uh, subscribe to the channel right there on uh, any of the podcast services Spotify follow us on IG at 2CGMH Follow us on Twitter, man. Come tweet with us. Come fly with us. Come drip with us. Build with us. Build with us, man. For real. It's your it's boy, you. Al Digger, the architect. It's your boy, WB. 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 Come fly with me. But you can't fly for free. And this your player partner, P. Will, Drip Chronicles. It's Two Shot Guys in Mount High, and we out. Yes, sir. Tune in next time. Sir.